so yeah, Hennigan, that was thank you for your question. I don't know that this is going to be a regular thing with the questions, but for uh, yeah, for the uh, thirty days in the hole, hashtag tin can rehab. Yeah, I'll take your questions here and again if I have nothing else to talk about. You've gone through all your emails too, all right? right? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna let me. In the beginning of, of this. At the beginning, yeah. Now you, I'm backed up again. Oh, jeez. Yeah, but not bad. I was fucking backed up thousands, so now I'm fucking good. I, I, I'm really good. What are you doing? I'm trying to get to the question. This, you know, when you have a question, I have, frame it. You know, Put I'm, it in the subject line. Question, would that help? Well, this, is, this guy has like two paragraphs setting up like, how uh, annoyed I must be at him asking a question. No, I'm annoyed you didn't get to a fucking question. <laughs> You can't find the question. I'm just writing, the... and uh, I'm an avid listener and an annoyance, yes? And you said ask questions, and because I know you'll read it so long as you keep... Jesus! <laughs> so, uh, well, I'm going to get to the question mark and move backwards. How's that? <laughs> skim skim yeah. the entire uh, paragraph. Or paragraphs. Like, don't you ever... Oh, he's asking... Okay, this is... To sum it up, he's asking me why I make myself so available to uh, my audience, which I'm not really that available to my audience. I give up my uh, fucking address because no one's going to ever come by here. And if they do, there's a fucking angry dog and a fucking big gate and a fence all around the thing. It's all locked in. So only if I feel like being annoyed, just like this. He said, uh, does it... Doesn't it f- fuck you, shit up for you? Like, don't you ever want to have a day where some eager little fuck of a fanboy faggot like me writes you an email with questions just because I can? If I want to have a day without answering your questions, what was your name? Cody Cody Hucker. <laughs> Cody Hucker. Oh. I like that. That's cute. You cute little f- faggot fanboy like you. Yeah, if I want to have a day without... Uh, being annoyed by questions, I don't check my email because I don't really need to. So, yeah, it's seems like you're in control. Yeah, it does. It's <laughs> not like oh shit, most of my business is in my Hotmail account, and I won't, I won't know how to. And you, and you have to go. You have to go in order. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you can't you, pick and your choose. Sensibilities won't let you skip one. <laughs> All right, I know you keep moving the. I have reading glasses and a microphone. Do you want to sit down? Hang on, hang on. We have another question. Uh, This question also from uh, Cody Hucker. Next question. It's not a question. Fucking fuck, goddammit, shit. I wish you wouldn't have retired when you did. Okay, if it's not a question, I'm just looking for question marks. (laughs) Oh, my question. This is after, that's at least, what, that's seven or nine lines of sentences between my next question that's not a question. And then and this is eventually one email? my question is, if you ever did a random date again, like you said, you might, would you maybe consider coming to Cincinnati again? Absolutely. I fucking love Cincinnati. And that's why I usually kick off the year in Cincinnati and uh, shake off the cobwebs. And make you suck it up, just like I was talking about earlier with the international jet lag flight. Jet lag Maybe show. guy can get. I'll have him deliver those fucking eugenics drugs right to go bananas in Cincinnati. <laughs> so I'll be wide awake to hear myself suck. All right. Any more questions? Next question from uh, Cody Hucker is the uh, next oh, question. Cody. Where can I buy the baiting book? Is that shit still available? I can't find it anywhere. I am not even going to Google Doug Stanhope best of baiting, anything like that, because I guarantee you it's fucking right there and you didn't Google it or you did Google it and you just want to have a million fucking questions. So stop it. If you can't find that book, you don't deserve to read it because you probably can't read. Next question from Cody Hucker. Oh, Cody again. Yeah, Cody Hucker. Uh, Long time listener, first time emailer. (laughs) Where are the videos from back in the day of you and Becker doing crazy shit that you talked about a long time ago on the podcast? Can Greg, I like, I like, all right, this is good. He calls you, can Greg Ban put those on YouTube? That's funny. He calls you Greg Ban. All right, I'm not going to explain that to people if you don't get it. How, why is the, all of a sudden, a spat of, uh, of people calling me Greg? Why is that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't listen to this podcast. I'm yeah. not a fan. I listen to the Bill Burr podcast. Very good. 
That's a very good podcast. This one. Bill Burr never refers to me as Greg either. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Uh, So he said I mentioned it. It It's probably the the fake man show thing we filmed. Or it's just the shit we filmed on the road. I don't. uh, Cody, thanks for your question. Uh, I have no idea where that shit is. And it's way down my list of priorities. I almost. I wouldn't even know it was on the list till you brought it up. But yeah, uh, that's not even. I have no idea. Do you think he's talking about the mushrooms? No, no. He's talking. He said something I mentioned on the podcast about thirty podcasts ago. So we've talked about the shit we filmed when we did the triple gig ten years later in two thousand one, oh, yeah, yeah. and also the shit we did in Alaska. Those are both filmed. Those are yeah. Don't 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 sit up at night. <laughs> Why don't you uh, just worry about writing me more questions? Oh, you have another question. Next question. Did you inform Doug Benson? That you took two hundred dollars right out of his pocket, blah blah blah. Ha ha ha. Get it? The Peldma podcast. That's that's funny. Next question from Cody Hucker. Didn't you keep it from going into Doug Benson's this pocket? This fucking goes on. How have you been drunk for as many decades as you brag about being a drunk and have never tried a whiskey sour? How does something that delicious and simple fly under your pie-eyed radar for so many years? Because uh, Cody, at my age, you don't drink something because it's delicious. You're fucking 21 years old, you write in this. And, uh, yeah, you're, 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 you have to find something to make whiskey go down your head without <laughs> upchucking in your mouth at Go Bananas Comedy Club in front of your 10 friends that you so- said you'd bring out. <laughs> so, yeah, at this point, I, I'm drinking a delicious drink right now because I'm only having two a night. Other than that, I'll just fucking pour whatever into my head. It doesn't matter. I don't go making a bartender annoyed. That's what you have to learn, Cody. Buy something that's fucking quick. Because if you're going to sit around bars, and that's what you're going to do, because I read the other shit about you just sit there in your fucking basement. Is this the same guy? I don't know. But yeah, don't annoy bartenders. Don't order fucking whiskey sours or Tom Collins or Singapore slings. Blended drinks. Right. You fucking get a shot and a beer and fuck, fuck off and over tip. And then maybe that bartender at the end of the night will give you a fucking hand job for helping her take out trash. All right. That answers that, I think. Is that enough? Okay. No, no, it's not for fucking Cody Hucker. Hey, uh, whatever the dude's name is, Matt, I think is dude with the egg picture on Twitter here. Can you write, if, if you listen to this podcast and you want to write me some material, <laughs> can you write me a limerick that involves Cody Hucker? If you can't write me a lyric, uh, a limerick about Cody Hucker, <laughs> I bet he'd fuck this up. Yeah, Matt, yeah, he knows who okay. I'm talking about. Matt Selleck, Eggman, who wants to write, he can't figure out the, yeah, all right, if you, <laughs> Cody Hucker limericks, please. I hope that fits in a tweet. (laughs) All right, your last question. (laughs) I'm kidding. Next question. Why are you still reading this? Uh You're awesome (laughs) if you still are. I'm awesome anyway. God damn it. I just reread. Don't. Oh, you just reread your email and you don't want to send it. Well, you should should learn how to. Trust that inner voice. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Let that instinct guide you. All right, there's no question mark in that whole fucking thing. Oh, why are you still reading this? You know why? Because I'm desperate, Cody. I'm desperate, and you've filled a need. So as angry and upset as I might get, don't worry. You made me happy because I like to be miserable. I'm a miserableist. I never knew that word, and someone described me as a miserableist in the UK press, and I looked it up, and it was someone who can only uh, enjoy themselves by being miserable and I go, wow, I learned a new word. And I decided to pass that on to you during my rehab with the word of the day. And I absolutely love this word. The word is posiloquent, posiloquent country of origin. I don't know. Can you use it in a sentence? I'd rather not. I want to be a fucking spelling bee judge. Posiloquent, P-A-U-C-I-L-O-Q-U-E-N-T. Posiloquent. 
It's using few words, concise in speech. Get that, Cody Hucker? Pawsiloquent, using few words, concise in speech. Pawsiloquent. And uh, I'd say be pawsiloquent in your Cody Hucker <laughs> limericks, but I guess there's so many words you have to use. <laughs> 